Hello everybody, this is Superfang99. Before we begin, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. It really helps out the channel. Today, we are going to be continuing our playthrough of The Circle Undone with our guest, Daniel from the channel Quick Learner. Hello. Awesome. We're going to be starting the first scenario, the first real scenario, with our investigators that we brought. Uh, scenario 1, The Witching Hour. How do you feel about this scenario? I like this scenario. But... I like it a lot, but yeah. it's also very stressful. It's pretty tough. All right, we're going to start with some opening hands. Uh, Carolyn's hands are going to be basically secret from me, so I'm just going to show mine. So I I'm going to start... show you that I drew those two. Perfect. <laughs> so I have a Steadfast Living Ink Sixth Sense Take Initiative and Azure Flame. Wow, that's actually pretty solid. So I'm going to get. I'm going to take these for sure. Do I take the Living Ink? I. Hmm. I think I will. Yeah, and I'll toss these two for now. Wow, that's great. Two Enchanted Blades. All right, we love to see it. All right, you good with your opening hands? Yep. Sounds good. So let's start reading. Scenario intro. It is a breezy November evening in Arkham, the perfect night for a walk through Independence Square, or so you had thought, up until the moment Anna Caslow offered to tell your fortune. You agreed, though you would soon come to regret, regret this decision. For each of the cards the Romani soothsayer draws from her deck, she weaves a tale of despair and misfortune. Judgment, temperance, justice, the hermit, the hanged man, the hierophant, the lovers, the chariots, the wheel of fortune. To complete her tale, Anna draws the top card and lays it in the center of the formation. Dominating the old Warren card is an ominous image of a towering construct of black onyx. A hellish storm rages over the tower, lightning coursing through the dark clouds. It reads, The Tower 16. Even if the rest of the rating has, had gone swimmingly, the sight of the center card would have sent a shiver down your spine. As it stands now, it feels more like the closing of a casket over your body. You did tell me to give it to you straight, the soothsayer says. She sits cross-legged in front of you, wearing a stony, grim expression. From her unwavering gaze and her cold eyes, you can tell Anna derives no satisfaction from this reading. Simple misfortune is the least of your concerns, she explains. This is a matter of life and death. She motions to the cards surrounding the tower, each of them laid in the reverse position, and stares at them intently. Arrayed against you is everything that you cannot see. You alone stand in their way, she says enigmatically. The lead investigator, which we have chosen uh, Carolyn to be, must decide. Uh, what can I do to avoid this fate? Proceed to intro two, or this is bullshit. Skip to intro three. What shall we do? What can I do to avoid this fate? All right. Intro two it is. The woman nods and draws the top card of the deck with a steady hand, revealing it to you without looking at it herself. Depicted on the card is a single wooden wand, surrounded by a pattern of broken stained glass. It reads, Ace of Rods. You must be ready to act, she, she advises. Without hesitation, without regret, when the opportunity arises, you must set into motion the events that will change this fate. In your campaign log, record that you have accepted your fate. Add two tablet tokens to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. Hey, look, here they are. Here they are. Yay. It's not like we prepared this at all. Mm -mm. Before drawing the opening hand, which we did do, uh, for the scenario, the lead investigator searches uh, their... Blech, searches the collection for one copy of the Tower 16 and one copy of Ace of Rods and adds it to their deck, if able. The lead investigator has earned these cards. They do not count toward their deck size. If one or both of these cards are not available, skip this step. Well, that's good, because you don't have any skill cards, at least. Nope. Um, it does prevent you from committing any card, correct? That's true. So, not like it's completely useless, but... Uh, all right, skip to intro four. It's all the way at the bottom here. Silence hangs in the air as you peer into the Tower card. The world around you dissolves into emptiness as your eyes fixate on the onyx tower. Rolling thunder echoes in the distance. Do you understand now? Anna asks. There is no other sign of the soothsayer, only her strained voice. A bolt of lightning streaks across the sky. Do you see your fate before you, as I do? Another resounding crack of thunder, and you are suddenly awake. Icy rain pelts your body, 
soaking you through to the bone. You are lying in the mud beside a wooded trail, and there is no other soul in sight. And we go to set up. So, gather all cards from the following encounter sets. The Witching Hour, Annette's Coven, City of Sins, Witchcraft, Ancient Evils, Striking Fear, and The Devourer Below. These sets are indicated by the following icons. When gathering the Devourer Below encounter sets, only gather the six Arkham Woods locations. Do not gather any of the other cards from that encounter set. Gather all cards from the Agents of Azathoth and Agents of Shavnigaroth encounter sets. Set these encounter sets aside, out of play. These sets are indicated by the following icons. Alright, and so here we have our encounter sets. The Witching Hour, Annette's Coven. Uh, sorry, that is Annette's Coven. Which one is that? This one is. That's Annette's Coven. This is Witchcraft. There yes. we go. Um, no, it's not. This is City of Sins. This is City of Sins. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible. Witchcraft, Ancient Evil, Striking Fear, The Devour Below's uh, Arkham Woods locations, as well as the Agents of Azathoth and the other one encounter set. I only got the ones we need because we know how this, we know how this one is set up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Put five Witch Haunted Woods locations into play as follows. By the way, this is the correct version, <laughs> I yes. believe. Yeah. Yes. Uh, in player order. Each investigator puts one random Witch Haunted Woods locations into play in front of them until there are exactly five Witch Haunted Woods locations in play. See Lost and Separated below. Uh, remove each other one from the game. Each investigator begins play at one of the locations in front of them chosen at random. No funny business over here. No funny business, indeed. So we have six here. We're just going to shuffle them around. I'm going to get rid of one of them. So we will not use this one. Okay. And... Um, I guess it'll be like you, me, you, me, you. Yep. Yeah, that's how that works. So you have these three. Mm-hmm. And I go to one of them. At I random. go to the other one. And uh, yeah, we can we can move these around. Um, I mean, that'll be the rest. So uh, set the following cards aside out of play. Each of the Arkham Woods locations and Annette Mason, as well as these, of course. So where is Annette Mason? She's she in, in there? here. Yep. She's in there somewhere. There she is. Slight spoiler. Look, there's another one that we didn't pick. There we go. Uh, shuffle, sorry, set the, shuffle the rest and we are ready to begin. I'm going to read Lost and Separated, though, just because it's here. During the scenario, the investigators begin play separated and cut off from one another. This is represented by locations entering play in front of each investigator, placed just above their play area. Act 1A, Lost in the Woods, has the text, locations in front of you are connected to one another. This text means that regardless of location slash connection symbols, the locate Excuse me. The locations in front of you are considered to be connected to one another, and enemies and investigators may move between them. Locations remain connected to one another via their location slash connection symbols as well. However, Lost in the Woods also has the text, you cannot enter locations in front of other investigators. This means that you cannot move to a location in front of another investigator, even if the two locations are connected or if you are moving via a card effect. Note that this restriction does not apply to enemies who are free to move between connected locations regardless of which investigator those locations are in front of. Uh, and that's it. So we're going to finish the rest of this setup and we will be right back. And we are now ready to begin. The agenda, please, if you will. So our first agenda, Temperance 14. Remain calm and you may peer into an uncertain future. The balance of the universe has tilted. You are the fulcrum. Be patient, and all will be revealed. Eight Doom Threshold. And our first act, Lost in the Woods. You have awakened alone, deep in the woods south of Arkham. The mysterious soothsayer is nowhere to be seen. You rise up from the muddy trail and try to find your bearings. An oppressive weight hangs in the air. As stated before, locations in front of you are connected to one another. You cannot enter locations in front of other investigators. Objective. At the end of the round, investigators may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance for a total of four clues. So, we are playing on standard difficulty. We have two skulls, which are a minus one. For each point you fail by, discard the top card of the encounter deck. And we are have bleh, we have two tablets, which are a minus one. If you fail after this test resolves, draw the bottom most treachery in the encounter discard pile. Okay. Minus ones aren't that bad. Uh, where are you starting, Carolyn? This place. Yes. Let's see where it is. Yes. So we are at a witch-haunted woods. The frigid wind howls around you as you venture deeper into the haunted woods beyond Arkham. 
Three shrouds, two per clues. Forced, after any number of clues are discovered from this location, each investigator at this location loses an equal number of resources. Victory one. Mm. Okay. Not the best. And I'm starting here. The Lonely Tree. Two shroud, one per clues. You cannot investigate this location while you have between three and five cards in hand. As a free trigger, you choose and discard one card from your hand. Then an investigator at a different Witch Haunted Woods location draws a card, or vice versa. Okay, you can have me draw cards. Living once per round. The ghastly likeness of tortured figures writhes within its bark, gnarled and emaciated. It is agonizing to look upon. Victory one. Thank you. All right, I think we're ready to go. Uh, do you want to go first? Sure. I guess I have some things to play. Here's my hand, by the way. And you're going to see some of those cards be played. So where should I, can I put things so people can see them? Oh, yeah, just put them, put yeah. them here. All right. We got a Peter. Peter. And we've got for three resources, and we have a Hawkeye folding camera for the other two resources. Very nice. And I guess we might as well, you know, pull a token out of the bag. We have four to three, which isn't great, but... Skulls and tablets are minus one. Skulls and tablets are minus one. And, you know, I don't have any resources to lose, so... Exactly. You know? We have... That is an auto fail. Perfect. Perfect timing. Yep. Honestly, not the worst. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will go next. I'm going to start by playing an Enchanted Blade. That's pretty solid for myself. Um, I then I think I'm going to gain a resource and... Well, that's actually not the best. I actually I probably should leave my two resources on me. So I think I'm going to play this Living Ink, which has three charges right now. Um, and then I'm going to investigate. I'm three to... Oh, actually, I only have three cards in my hand. Never mind. Uh, I'm sorry. I have four cards in my hand, so I cannot. So I will draw a card. Would you like to get rid of a card? Or can you only do that once per... Once per round, yeah, unfortunately. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'll draw a card with my last action. It is a water protection. That's good. Okay. Let's go to upkeep. I got that card. Ooh, let's go. I got that card. And we have one doom on the agenda out of eight. Yep. And I will take the first card... We shuffled this, right? Yes. Diabolic Voices. Thank you. Revelation tests three willpower. For each point you fail by, discard a random card from your hand. Mm. For each card you cannot discard, take a horror or a damage. This test gets plus one difficulty for each copy of Diabolic Voices in the encounter discard pile. All right. We will commit a card. Okay. Stand together. So that puts us up one. Yep. That is a minus three, so you fail by two. All right, so I get rid of two random cards? Correct. There you go. All right, this is... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> two random cards. Two random cards. So you are going to lose Liquid Courage and Toe-to-Toe. -to -toe. Great. That's anyway, tough. that was an encounter. That was an encounter card. Thank you so much. I got another Diabolic Voices. Uh... I'm going to play Water Protection on that. Seems appropriate at this point. Oh, also, I should have removed one of these charges. Um, so I will ward it, canceling his revelation effect, and put this underneath myself and draw a card into resource because I canceled the thing. I drew a dodge. Very nice. Alrighty. That was Mythos Phase. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Investigation. How many cards are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. I can investigate here. So, so, so can I. <laughs> Indeed. Um... <laughs> Why don't I start? Yeah. So we're just going to investigate. We're going three to two. Zero. Get a clue. Let's go again. It's nice when you accept your fate. Mm -mm. Minus one. And then I think I will either move to the next one or play something. I do want to end my turn with two resources if I can. So yeah, I will move over. It is the Child's Tree House. One shroud, two per clues. Forced. When the last clue is discovered from this location, spawn the topmost enemy in the encounter discard pile at this location. If there are no enemies in the encounter discard pile, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck till an enemy is discarded and spawn the enemy here instead. All right, it's two per clues here, if you can, please. Uh, I believe that's me. All right. Um... You know, I could just, like, go after this again, but then I'm going to lose the resources. I'm just going to draw a card first and okay. then decide. Okay, that is a card. Um, I'm going to draw another card. Okay. And then I'm going to play 
this forbidden knowledge, Very which nice. comes in with four secrets. But one of them is going to immediately go over to my resource pool. I will take a horror on the Peter Sylvester. My turn ends. This goes away. I get another resource. Very nice. All right, that's your turn? That's my turn. All right, let's go to upkeep. Draw a Mr. Yate. That's nice. Get a resource. I think we're good to go for the next round. We have two out of eight, two. Cool. Um, Ancient Evils. Well, I can't cancel that, unfortunately. Nope. So three out of eight. My encounter card is Rotting Remains. That honestly might be a, also. I honestly need to get rid of this. So I would be three all right now. Be in your turn, right? Uh, correct. Thank you. So this technically has that was huge on there still. Um, I think I might just dark inside it honestly. Yeah, I think I will. So I'm gonna play dark inside on it. Meaning that I will shuffle this into the encounter deck. Uh, and then I will gain a card, draw a card, and gain a resource as well. Very nice. Yep. Running out of a bit of a cancels, though. It's unfortunate. Luckily, we have not drawn enemy, but... Oh, they're coming. They're coming. Okay. Now we'll go underneath me, draw a card. It's another one of those. That's good. And get a resource. Okay. Um, so I can get two clues here, but... Let me go first to go look at a different location. Go for it. Now that I have all these resources, I'm not about to lose them. Yep. Okay, we can commit. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah. The Tainted Well, Three Shroud One Precludes, investigators at other Witch Haunted Woods locations can commit a one card to each skill test performed at this location and vice versa. A few tufts of grass are all that cling to life around the base of the old, of this old well. The rest of the landscape sucked dry of color. Victory won. Uh, I don't have any book icons. <laughs> <laughs> um, Is it just investigation? Oh, each skill test. Any skill okay, test. Okay, so if you have to fight something. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's... Uh, well, let's, let's take our our horror. Nice. I got a lot of money. Yeah, it might come in handy in a minute. Um, and then I think I'm just going to investigate at four to three again. All right. You know, there are minus ones in here. Yeah. Minus there's not, there's not just minus threes and auto fails. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is a minus three, as, as luck would foretell. Well, let's try again. Yep. I believe. That is a plus one. All right. Very nice. We'll take a clue. All right. And in my turn, Peter heals. Resource. Nice. Okay, start of my turn, Living in living Ink Charge. Um, I will start by playing a Sixth Sense. And I'm just going to investigate twice. Uh, so we are currently at uh, one, two, three, four. Four to one. Willpower. Minus four. I fail. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Not haunted, at least. Minus one. We'll get that clue. Nice. Uh, I would... Do you want to not advance? I think we keep keep playing until we uh, get a little better set up. Indeed. I agree. So uh, Let's go to upkeep. Upkeep. Alright, that's another cancel, at least. All right, that's okay. Four Doom out of eight. Your encounter card is a Frozen in Fear. Classic. Mm -hmm. I'm not going anywhere. That's good. Mine is... Ooh, an enemy. A Coven Initiate. Two fights, two health, two evade. Humanoid Witch. Revelation. Discard the top two cards of the encounter deck. If this effect causes the encounter deck to run out of cards, draw the topmost hex card in the encounter discard pile, if you please. Shall I just... Yeah, go for show it. them or dissonant voices and uh, echoes of the past. Evil's past. Evil's past. That's right. Just in case you want to see it. Sure. It would normally there's a giant light there. Uh, put itself into play in your threat area. There are no copies in your threat area. Forced when the encounter deck runs out of cards, you take two horror and test willpower three to try and get rid of it. So that's pretty nice. Mm. Although there are better cards in there that I probably want to discard. Yep. Um, I'm gonna kill this guy. Yeah, do it. So we're gonna swing with the enchanted blade, spending a charge to empower it. Also, this now goes away. Start my turn. So I'm currently three plus two is five to th five to two. Uh, 
I guess technically you could commit a fist to Icon right now. That would be the that's the vice versa on that, right? Vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> if you wanted to. That's a minus two, this which is dead. Yay. Okay. Here, please. Alright, second and third actions. Uh let's just investigate some more, I think. Mm-hmm. So we were gonna go four to one with our six cents. Oh. Yeah, I was saying I can actually grab a clue from these locations now. Do you? Yeah, I can do this one because we don't lose any resources. Correct. Yes, because there's no look. Uh, no investigators there, so that's nice because my my locations are connected. Perfect. Nice. Uh, one more time. Yep. Fight, investigate, and now one more time. Minus one. All right. I will get this, and I got, I got it. Got it. Yep. All right. So technically, we could do it now if we wanted to, but. Yeah. Whether or not you set up. Let me let's let me take my turn and then we can decide, right? Yep. Yeah, because only at the end of the round, our round can Correct. we advance. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna draw a card. Oop. Shouldn't have done that. National thought. How much horror on that? Four. Okay. So rip Peter. <laughs> as long as you can get rid of it. Actually, well, no, that's not true, right? If you put a horror on Peter. I don't get any of the resources from Carolyn's ability. Right, but it would heal it from rational thought. No. No, that's right, because you're not healing from Carolyn. Yeah, that look at courage that got discarded would have been nice here. That would have been nice. Anyway, um, that's action one. Action two will be investigate at four to three. We got to get that uh, Hawkeye folding camera boost a little bit. Yep. As an auto fail. Wow. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna try your, again. Your draws today have not been very good. Nope. All right, this one. That's a zero. Yay. Very nice. All right, we'll power this thing up, and I gotta take another test. Correct. Which is now at four to three because yep. Hawkeye folding camera. So we're testing frozen and fear at four to three. As an elder sign. That's good. You can heal one from rational thought. Yep. Very nice. All right, and this is gone. Okay. Win some, lose some. Win some, lose some. All right, let's go to upkeep. Dynamo draw. Ooh, that's good. Okay, so it is the end of the round. What do you think? I will. I'll leave this up to you because I'm pretty prepared. Um, I'm trying to figure out, like, I mean, I, I could, it's not the greatest idea, mm -hmm. but I'm not really sure if I'm going to get anything better out yeah. of this. Um, so do we have enough to, how many clues do we have? We have a total of seven. So we have enough to advance the next one as well. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. End of the round, we will spend four clues total. So I guess we'll spend... Two from each of us? Yes. Do you have two to hold on to? Yes. I have three, yeah. Okay. All right. We'll read what's on the back of this. Deeper into the woods. As the rain lets up, a dense fog rolls into the throughout in rolls in throughout the area. Soon all of the woods have vanished within the hazy fog. You call out for your companions, but none answer. You grope blindly in the haze, searching for something, anything to which you can cling. Each investigator must randomly choose one of the set-aside Arkham Woods locations, put it into play in front of them, and immediately move to that location. Cannot be cancelled. Let's start with that. Arkham Woods are over there. Uh, yep, those ones. One, two, three. Oh, there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them. We have a total of six. So let's hope we get one that's not bad. <laughs> I mean, they're all... I mean, some of them aren't bad. Would you like to go first? Sure. All right. Here you go. All right, I have... Okay, that's nice. We have the Quiet Glade. One Shroud, zero clues. As an action, heal a damage or heal a horror. Not a card you control. On, on, or not a card you own. Is that what it is? No, but I could at least start getting rid of this. That right? is true. Mm. So you put that in front of you. It's, and you move there. Put it up here. Up there. Um, how is that connected to our location? It's connected to all of the Witch Haunted Woods mm -hmm. and possibly something else. Correct. And here's mine. All right, let's go. We got the old house. Two shroud, one for clues. This location is investigated using willpower instead of the skill indicated by the investigation attempt. That is probably the best we could have gotten, if I can imagine. Yep. We also didn't get the really bad one. Yep. So that's good. Um, however, each investigator spawns a set-aside goat spawn at their location. If there are four or more investigators, we would also spend our London's Dark Young somewhere. Uh, each investigator then tests willpower or agility three. Each investigator who succeeds exhausts that enemy and disengages from it. Do you want to start? Yep. Four to three. I'm assuming you're doing willpower. I am. 
That is a minus two, unfortunately. Nope. So that does fail. All right, so we're engaged yes. with this guy. I can probably help you with that. Okay. Um, are we connected? No. That would be close, though. Um, I'm also currently one, two... I'm actually only three to three. Hmm. I want to do something with that. Oh, sorry. Can I have two clues from my location, please? Yes. Thank you. You know, I could commit the Twilight Blade. <laughs> it's definitely a possibility. Alternatively, I could use one of those. I want to get at least one up. I think I'm going to just go through to three, unfortunately. Is that even a good idea? Hmm. I think I'm at... Okay, you know what? We're going to... We're going to commit one of these dodges. That's what's going to happen. So now we're four to three. Plus one. All right. hey. Didn't matter, but we got it. So this guy's going to be exhausted at my location. And that is it. Shuffle one of the set-aside copies of Demonic Piping into the encounter deck. Place the other two copies in the discard pile. One, two. And yeah, keep the piper set aside and we can shuffle that. And while you're doing that, I will read this. So, our second act, Witch Hauntings. Whatever arcane rites are being practiced in these woods, they are attracting the attention of all manner of vile beasts, the like of which you have never seen. Is this what the soothsayer was trying to warn you about? Same text. Objective, if a single investigator uh, spends the requisite number of clues, advance. We need a total of two. I have two on me, but we're not, I, don't, I don't think we're in a window to advance just yet. That's correct. Uh, because we need to resolve the mythos phase. All right. So we now have five doom. Five out of eight. Yep. And we have encounter cards. It is a centuries of secrets. Test willpower five. For each point you fail by, discard the top card of the encounter deck. If a curse treachery is discarded by this effect, deal one direct damage to each of your uh, to your investigator and each of your ally assets. Bye, Peter. Bye, Peter. Well, I mean, you know, who knows? Four to five. Four to five. I believe in a plus one. Ready? That is a minus three. <laughs> <laughs> so you discard the top four cards. Yeah. Okay, that's not a curse. That's not a curse. That's not a curse. One more. One more. Fuck. Bye, Peter. Bye, Peter. You were close. That was really close. Yep. Uh, token. All right, and you get a card. Yes. Diabolic Voices. I believe there are two in the discard file right now. There are two. Willpower five. Yeah. Well, I, I'm out of cancels. So I'm currently three to five. That's bad. Random. Yeah, I think I need to... I'm gonna I'm gonna commit it because I'm probably gonna discard. It. I'm gonna commit the Twilight Blade. Mm. Fortunately, probably gonna discard it regardless, which is why I'm doing that. So I'm currently five all. Skull is a minus one, and what happens? We for each point you fail by, discard the top card of okay. the encounter deck. So I do just I do fail by one. So we're gonna discard the top card first. Okay. It's an ancient evil. It's very nice. That's good. Um, and then I need to discard one card from my hand please it is the other enchanted blade that's honestly not the worst thing in the world okay and that's done so peter I'm, could have helped me correct. evade the goat spawn and now i am up a creek so i'm gonna come to you actually okay so if i go one two and engage that works for me so works for me yep i'm gonna go one two and engage this guy off of you all right i'm sorry we can't do that yet <laughs> spend some clues yes we must advance first why don't we advance i spend two clues there you go thank you can I have one clue back? Yeah. Strange melodies. As you scour the, word, the woods for answers, a path that will lead you back home, you find yourself drawn off the beaten trail by a mesmerizing melody of silvery pipes. Deeper into the damp, hazy woodland you delve, searching for the source of the strange music. Finally, you come upon a foggy clearing, at the center of which lies a half-rotted tree stump. An old but delicately carved wooden flute lies atop the stump, silently beseeching you to approach. The moment you touch the instrument, the piping melody that lured you here is cut short, and the dense fog around you disperses with a sudden breeze. For the man of scenario, investigators may now enter locations in front of other investigators. Yay! All right. We did it. And our new act, Paths into Twilight. 
With the strange fog dispersed, you are now able to explore the woods. You are unable to find the main path that leads back to Uptown, but this is your chance to discover more about the ritual the, lo the witches are conduction conducting. Locations in front of you are connected to one another, and we need a total of six clues now. Well, we have one. Indeed. All right, now I'm going to take my turn. Move, move. Sorry. <laughs> move, move, engage. Perfect. And that's me. Okay, so i got to think about this for the long haul. Yeah. Um, so you're okay with the goat spawn for now? Yeah. Okay. So let me draw a card. Yeah, okay, sure, whatever. Um, we will play Ever Vigilant for our second action. So nice. I get to, one at a time, play up to three assets from your hand, reducing the cost by one. So we have a hollowed mirror Very nice. for one. I'll, stuff, I'll put those things in yep. in a second. We have another Forbidden Knowledge for nothing. And we have an Ace of Rods wow. for two. I'm actually going to play it. Yay! Might help. Hey, it's an extra action. It is. All right, let me get those silly melodies in. I'm going to probably play this one. And then I shuffle the other two into my deck. Your Forbidden Knowledge tokens as well. Thank you. Which I'd love to, you know, use for <laughs> yes. their intended purpose. But at the moment... Peter's brother is somewhere in your deck. Yeah, it's true. I was hoping to just, like, naturally draw him. <laughs> anyway, so last action. I'm just going to have to do this. Yep. And then I draw a card. From the Silly Melody. From the Silly Melody. And then my turn will be All right. over. I'll resolve the enemy phase. Um, do I dodge this guy? <laughs> Oh, it's just one damage. I honestly don't even think it's worth it, but I need my willpower. I'm going to I'm gonna hold off. I will take the damage. And then we'll go to upkeep. Mm -hmm. This guy will ready. And go to cards and resources. Ooh, I drew a terrible secrets. So I'll take two horror or discard those two cards. Ooh, I have an interesting. Or one over the other. I guess I'm just going to take two horror. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Maybe I'll die, but we'll see. Uh, and then I gain a resource. All right. Uh, Doom is six out of eight. Yeah. All right, so these can go away. This is gets a little scary. A rotting remains. Rotting remains. All right. I mean that's fine, right? Yeah. I have ways to take you know six more horror if I really want them. Indeed. All right, four to three. I believe in you not drawing a minus three. How about an auto? Oh my goodness! <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. Uh, wow. I have to take three horror. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is crazy. Well. Uh, I will draw Rat. Put into play in your threat area. You get minus one to each of your skills during the first skill test you perform each round. As an action, test willpower three. If you succeed, discard Rat. If there is an exhausted witch enemy at your location, you would automatically succeed. Currently no witch enemies in play, so that's okay. Okay, so we have the goat spawn here. Correct. He's going to hunt. So he can't go directly, so he's going to go down to any of these, in fact. So we might want to stay here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll just... Do you want to... Or, I mean, because when I when I kill this guy, I'm going to deal a horror to mm -hmm. you. So I might want to leave? It depends. Because if you leave, this guy's going to come to you. True. That's also bad. That's also bad. Man, do I just, like, keep drawing cards? I can get rid of this. Yeah, I but... think getting rid of that is probably good. But I'm not sure... I would love to have the damage first, which I guess I'm not going to have. Yeah. Okay. Um, Actually, if you were able to test Racked off me, that would also be good. Yeah, I can try that. Okay. Okay, I've, I've got a couple of ideas. They're sure. all kind of silly, Yeah. but they might be helpful. So we'll start with the Racked. Okay. And I can't give anything. You're four to three? Yeah. That's a, Jesus Christ. That's a, you you got to mix up this bag. <laughs> That's trying to put it not put it on top yeah yeah um okay well now i can't do that for you yeah. um however i am going to play this toe to toe nice and let's do him two damage and i take a damage myself first not bad and then i will heal the damage and horror yep getting rid of rational thought oh it's damage or horror you're right. It is or. Then I will keep the damage. Yep. All right. Uh, I will fight the goat spawn with the enchanted blade. I guess I'm not going to empower it. Yep. Don't need to. I'm not going to go three all. If I fail this first one, I guess it's, eh, it's retaliate, but nah, whatever. 
Or we'll draw that. See? Other um, people can draw that. Indeed. Like. I'm not... Mm, oh, God. I mean, getting that... <sighs> Honestly, I think we're at the point where I need more cards underneath me. So I'm not going to draw a card underneath me, unfortunately. However, I will kill this thing. We each take a horror. Correct. All right, I got six. I actually nine. also have six out of seven. <laughs> That's a little bit of a problem. That's a problem. Oh, it's actually... Like, that's actually a bad problem. <laughs> that's a pretty bad problem. Um, limit wants to return. I guess I can do that. Yep. Sure. We'll do that. Actually, well, first let's test rack. So I'm still only three all. How how much clues do you have in your hand? Oh, I can get clues. Okay. So I'm going to commit this drawn to the flame and try and go four to three on this racks. Mm-hmm. Skull is a minus one. So I will pass that. It's gone. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and then I guess I'll heal a horror from myself. Which is not giving me a resource. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. All right, hunters. So where do you want this guy to hunt? So he can go literally anywhere. Correct. He can go to the undiscovered... Mm -hmm. uh, no, nah, I think one. we probably want to go there. Um, yeah. I guess it doesn't matter because we're matter. just not going to go to... Let's not go here. Yeah. So he can go there. Sure. And we'll go to upkeep. Yeah. Ooh, that's a that's a that's a card I need right now. Yes. Okay. Okay. Seven out of eight. Hmm. Evil passed. Evil passed. All right. Good thing you didn't get that. Correct. And then you get a card. I get a rotting remains. Uh oh. I, I can commit something to you. Yeah. You may have the St. Hubert's key. Okay. I guess I'm going to commit this. Otherwise, I'm dead. Wow. I didn't think that this would go this far. But uh, I'm committing my dodge as well. So I have five to three. Minus one. We're good. Okay. That was kind of close. It's a little bit close. Um, well then. Okay, so I need to get to a different location. Yes. Pro probably not this one. We, I would like to see what this is. Yeah. And then... I could just kill that guy, honestly. I have the damage on me, I But think. then you're going to take a horror. Yeah. Which technically wouldn't kill me, but... Hmm. I have another solution to that problem, but I don't think it's the right time for Okay. It. Do you have another dodge? No, I have a delayed inevitable, though. Okay. We also can not worry about him for one turn. I could probably take his attack, if need be. Okay. Um, You're okay with that. I want to see what's here. Yeah, for sure. And I might use Ace of Rods, although yeah. I'd like to hang on to that for a little bit. All right, so we move here. The Hermit's House. Four Shroud, two per clues. Forced, after any number of clues are discovered from this location, each investigator at this location must discard an equal number of cards at random from their hand. No, that's not the one I want. All right. Yeah, that's even bad. I mean, it's kind of what I was looking for, but not really. Yeah. I need these cards. Okay. Well, all kinds of bad here. Mm -hmm. um, I think... I guess I'll hang out here. I need to draw another card. I'm okay with probably taking the attack if you don't want to. Sure. So let me just... Each investigator. Man, these really don't want you to be in the same location as each other nope. either. All right, I'll draw a card. Um, well, it's too bad you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can... Whatever you do is we can have it next turn. Yeah, it's true. Um, in that case... I think I need to draw another card. Okay. Those are all good cards to play. Okay. Um, so I'll come to you then. Sure. In fact, I guess I should heal myself first. That might not be the worst idea, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to heal myself for one horror, move back down, and then I'll play another Living Ink. Nice. Okay. This guy's going to hunt. Are you going to delay the notable, or do you want me to take it? So, I was planning to delay the notable, though, the horror, mm -hmm. when it dies. Okay. 
Do you care about the damage? I don't care about the damage. All I right. can take the damage, actually. Let me just take the damage, because then I don't have to engage it off you. Sure. Alrighty. Okay. All right. Oh, that's good. Okay, I think I'm, I think I'm okay now. Uh, we do advance. We do. Thank you. The rite commences. The moon reaches the height of its arc in the night sky. The trees begin to shift and twist in the breeze, as though made of something other than solid matter. Dozens of birds suddenly scatter from every treetop. In the distance, you can hear a faint melody, the pitch bending in the wind. A cloaked figure emerges from the darkness beyond the brush, a vortex of magical energy coalescing at her feet. Are you the ones who have been meddling with our works? She wonders aloud, gazing at you suspiciously from underneath her thick hood. It is no matter. You are not welcome here, she threatens. Be gone, or face the consequences. Discard all but the five, but the, but, but the last five cards in the encounter deck. The investigator with the most cards in their play area must draw the topmost witch enemy in the encounter discard pile. Okay, are there any witches in there? No. Nope. So that's going to be the coven in the shit, right? We yeah. We have the one. Not the worst. Thing. That's probably going to go to me. Uh, is it? I got a. Sh one, but two, I got the two three, permanents four, as well. Five, six. Where? They're, they're, they're over here somewhere. The permanents. Oh, yeah. Well, I have two permanents also. I have three. Okay, I guess I have... Yeah, you're right. So you will draw the Covenant Initiative, right? Yeah. That's fine. Uh, which means that you need to discard the top two cards in the counter deck as well. Because the Covenant Initiative... It says draw or spawn. Draw. All right. All Please right. draw the, the lead Covenant... God damn it, where is she? <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be huge. Yeah. Well, no, there's, there's two more... That's true. Witches in here. Yeah, because right? it depends. Because there's no witches in the discard pile. Yeah. All right. The next uh, agenda. The night howls. As midnight draws nearer, the forest begins to take on another form. A canopy of darkness overtakes the stars. The wind picks up in intensity, its whistling echoing through the trees. A dangerous power gathers deep within the woods, drawing only the foul and the foolish. Forest at the end of the round place one doom on this agenda for each witch enemy at the witch's circle. Hey, I wonder where their location is. Yeah. All right. Counter so. cards. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Found her. Found her. So, could, yeah. yeah. Priestess of the Coven. Well, it's a good time to kill her now. Yeah. Two, five, three, health, two evade, humanoid witch. Retaliate. Priestess of the Coven gets plus one, five, and plus one evade for each witch enemy in the encounter discard pile, which is zero. Mm -hmm. Forest, when the encounter deck runs out of cards, Priestess of Coven readies and attacks each investigator at its location. Oh, that's bad. We have to kill her before we draw any more cards. Correct. Speaking of, I got a wrecked. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So, uh, this is with you, this is with me. Yep. So, I mean, I can prioritize the priestess instead of the ghost spawn this time. Would anyone like to take three damage? <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn it, this is an encounter card. This is not a player card. I mean, I would be fine, honestly. Because uh, I would have to I would have to take uh, an extra two, right? Because I would take an attack opportunity. Mm. That's kind of bad. Mm, unless I, uh, I could cancel it for you. That's right, you could, but you have to take your turn first, right? Correct. Hmm. <laughs> you know? I have some other silly things I can do, but I'm trying to think about what makes the most sense. I could try and evade one of these as well. I'm not the worst at that. The good spawn? Yeah. Okay. Where are we? We're at this location. Okay. What if I'm not? I'm. I would not be upset if you if you if you did that. Yeah, I, I'm thinking about it. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight resources. Okay, I could. Hmm. Hmm. So I mean, it would mean that I would I would have to go first. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. Let's, let's let's do it. Let's do it. So, I'm gonna start by trying to evade the goat spawn. I'm currently. Two to three with racked. Also, this goes away. Sorry, two to two. Evading. Mm -hmm. Auto fail. That's fine. No alert. Okay. So now I'm three to two. Do I have anything to help me with that? I do. Sure. I have a backpack. Hey, I love this. I love this backpack. It makes me faster somehow. <laughs> uh, that puts me to four to two. 
Auto fail. Wow. You now I, I've gotten into you. Yeah. Um, I want to see. It, oh, that's right. So I'll just I'll play this for now. So I'll play Delay the Inevitable on you. Okay. That's a card that I, that I own. Um, I'll just try to bait again. Three to two. Zero. All right. Th this doesn't do anything. No, it didn't really help the problem. Yeah. Um, but I might be able to help the problem a little bit. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, kind of spuriously. Actually, yeah, let's do it this way. Okay. This is very silly, but yeah. I think it's still going to be good. We're going to power word this Coven Initiate for three resources. All right. It's fast. And then we're going to send her off to some other location. Maybe here. We're not going to kill her? Nope. Okay. Because I don't want to take all the, the whole extra horror for sure, that. Sure, sure. And... She doesn't have Hunter. That's good. Yes. Um... Alternately, I could send her away, but I think we'd rather kill her with the, the dynamite, right? Correct. All right, so now I can take the attack of opportunity for two damage. Yep. I'm going to take the two damage, and I'll cancel the three from the uh, getting dynamite blast. Sorry. So this covenant shit's here. Yes. We We're... could just kill her, right? Yes, that's true, but then I would take an extra horror from playing the dynamite blast. Not if you tell her to cower instead of go. That's true. Yeah, okay. But I might want her later. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair enough. I mean, yeah, whatever you like. I think I kind of kind of want to come here, potentially, and and well, I don't know. It's up to you. I don't. I don't mind. Like I feel like she's pretty easy to kill later. That's true. Yeah. Let, let's send her off. Okay. All right. So I take the two damage, and then I'm going to cancel the three damage from the dynamite blast. Thank you. That's a card that I own, so I will put it underneath me to draw a card and gain a resource. Mm-hmm. I also take three damage. Okay, and then she's gone. And so is this, so we both take a horror. That's right. That was part of the reason why I wanted to send her away. Yeah, fair enough. So I now have seven of nine, which means we need to start healing. So this is action number three. Correct. Which is a soothing melody. I think we both heal a horror. Okay, thank you. So we both get a resource for Thank that. you. I needed to have spent my five. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> So I have one left now. And then I draw a card. Okay. Um, I mean, we sort of stabilized, you yeah. know, maybe. Dynamite is dynamite. It is. That's your turn? That's my turn. All right. Any phase, nothing happens. I am going to take two horror again in a second, though. Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> okay. Three. Yeah, I'm going to go to eight. All right. Yeah. Well, but I'll keep then. I drew a ward. That's good. <laughs> All right, one out of twelve. Uh, yeah. Uh oh, coming in shit, and that causes. Uh, I don't think because we don't. Yeah, this it. one doesn't discard to me. So yeah, the this however goes. Correct. I so will need to test three. four to three, and right. I take two horror. So you currently have eight of nine. Yep. Okay. All right. So in other words, I'm not using the forbidden knowledge anymore. Yeah. Hey, I passed something. Nice. Okay. Okay. So then this gets like, discarded, and then the then shuffles. Right? Yeah. Yep. So I'll shuffle this, and then I'll draw the top card. Yep. Okay. Well, we're alive. <laughs> I'll definitely start killing these things. Yeah. I I I need to play some things. I think to get back uh, on the good side. Yeah. Although who knows what you're gonna draw? Yeah. So. Trouble is, this could be literally anything. <laughs> yep. Okay, here we go. It's an evil past. Nope, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Um, so I have the Coven Initiate. Yes, I'll probably kill it first. Yes. Um, is it okay if I swing into you? Or, well, first of all, do you not want me to kill this one? We can leave this one here for horror healing okay, for now. Okay, then I will take my time and engage this guy off here. Yeah. And then I'll swing with the Enchanted Blade, charging it up. Where's mm -hmm. the back? Thank you. Uh, so that puts me at five to two. I'm sorry, I'm 4 to 2 with Racked. Yeah. Minus 2, we're good. She's dead. Good. Uh, engage, fight. I could try to do Rack now, actually. Yeah. 
That's probably good. Yep. So now I am one, two, three, four, five to three. With the living ink. Minus one. We're good for that. That's okay. Good. I will spend a resource and play a liquid courage. Nice. Comes in with four supplies, and we're going to spend one of them. I need to test four to two. Um, yeah, I think we're okay. So you heal horror immediately, right? Yes, I do. Yeah. Which will get me a resource, I yeah. suppose, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I get the resource immediately, yeah. but I won't get a resource for the second Correct. Horror. additional, yeah. If I pass. Right. I do pass. Minus one. Very nice. All right. So now we're down to six. That's good. Uh, would you like to heal horror? I'm four to seven. I think I'm actually okay. Okay. Then I'm going to heal myself again. That's the best I can do at the moment. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, four two. Nope. Nope. So you I heal one still. I deal heal one, so I do get a resource for that, yep. and I must get rid of a random card. Correct. Okay. Check the dots. Well, that's fine. Okay. Upkeep. Upkeep. Ooh, that's a good card. Take initiative. We are two out of twelve. Okay, now we're, now we got some. Okay. Some juice, but you know, you never know what we're gonna get from this. Never know, yeah. Demonic piping. All right. Surge. You wanna yeah. take just, a look at it? Just, yeah. Surge revelation. If Piper of as a thought is in play, deal one horror to each investigator at its location and at each connecting location. Otherwise, put demonic piping into play next to the agenda deck. If there are three copies of it in play, then we spawn the Piper of Azathoth. I'm gonna put it up here. You'll pass. All right. Now My turn, please. I got a frozen in fear. Okay. That's probably okay, actually. All right. So we have to just dis- each investigator here. God damn. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> I'm not sure about this location. I can leave. Maybe if you want to grab some of the clues, I can clear off both these locations. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe not right away, but I can get there. Yeah. I mean, I can get. I can get clues here. I just worry about losing my cards. But I guess that's not even... That, uh, uh, never mind. All right. I'm going to move here. Okay. We're going to leave her on the board for a bit. Okay. So I think... Man, this is... It's pretty bad. But we're just going to cower and heal, I think. Well, hmm. That's the best thing I can do. No. Um, we're going to cower for action two. And then I can try to investigate okay. at, I'm going to commit this Arcane Studies. Yep. And I'm up two. Yep, five to three. One. Yeah, okay. I don't want to lose too many resources here. That is a minus three, so you fail. I do. Token bag is not with me today. Not really. Okay, you're up. Okay. Um... Which, uh, this goes away now. It's done for the living inks. So now I have four willpower. That's probably better. And yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of my enchanted blade and play a shriveling instead. And I'm gonna investigate. I'm currently four to four. Ugh. Never mind. I'm going to draw a card first. <laughs> Ooh, Dark Prophecy. I'm going to investigate now. Yeah. All right. And we are going to play Dark Prophecy while we investigate. So, I'm going to reveal five instead of one. Looking for a skull or a tablet. That would do it. Because then I would cancel it and it would get plus one. And then we're mm-hmm, good. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three. There's a skull. So I think I'm actually okay now. Yep. Yeah. So I will choose skull. I will ignore the rest, which will put this underneath me, allowing me to draw a card and gain a resource. Draw a card as guts, gain a resource. And hey, now I have one, two, three, four, five willpower against four. Resolving the skulls, a minus one, I succeed. Uh, I will choose my location as well, because it's you know, pretty high shroud. Lose a random card, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I will lose a random card. I love Dark Prophecy. <laughs> it's great. It's, it doesn't seem like it should work, but I love it. Guts. That's totally okay for me. Mm-hmm. 
Um, that was my third action because I drew second. And I played Shriveling first. And now I need to test Frozen of Fear. What are you at now? I have five. I'm a real mystic. That's a real number. Yeah, five to three. Minus two. We're good. All right. Sweet. Uh, upkeep? Yep. Stat pass. That's pretty bad right now. How much do I have? I have five plus four is nine out of 14. So I have I have five. I have, no. Yeah, I have exactly five left. <laughs> All right. All right. We are three out of 12. I think we'll be okay. We, we have time. I think so. I have Probably a covenant shit. Okay. This so, guy's also ready. Yes. Let me put it like over here or something. Sure. Uh, discard the top two because of the Covenant Initiate. Yep. Ancient, ancient Evils. Evils. Nice. Centuries of Secrets. Q Rotate those. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I drew an Ancient Evils. Okay. I'll award it. Yay. That's okay. how we have time for this nonsense. It was absolutely. So that's gone. Uh -huh. I discard that. I draw a card. Sorry, I put it underneath me because now I have a total of five cards. Draw a card and get a resource. For my ability. Yeah, all right, you, so I have them all powered up. Yep. Um, I have too many enemies. Right. I'll go kill one. Yeah. So I'll move to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm not doing anything else, so I'm just going to engage it, and then I'll shrivel it. Mm -hmm. I am six to two. By the way, I'm okay to lose money here if you want. Minus one. It's good. If you want to discover clues. Oh, I'm going to discover clues. Yeah. I'm so also going to lose money. I'll lose money. Fine. All right. We have a scene of the crime. Nice. <laughs> so I will pay two. I will pay another two. And I will lose two as well. And we get two clues. And then action. Oh, that's from one. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Okay, uh, I think we're going to have to cower. Yep. And then I don't want to get the last clue quite yet. I mean, actually, I really want to, but I don't think I can. I have a commit for you one. Uh, mm, not yet. Okay. I'm going to, strangely, I'm going to heal one from here. Sure. So I can gain a resource. Yep. Okay. Sweet. That's it. I get readies. Yep. And we're going to go to upkeep. Okay, get a resource. I'm gonna my hand size. Seven cards. I'm good. Okay, four out of twelve. We're getting there. We're getting there. The your card. Mm -hmm. Distant voices. Boo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, and mine is a centuries of secrets. That's honestly totally okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go six of five. That's right, I have six willpower now. Mm -hmm. Minus three, I fell by two. Top two cards, please. Not a curse. Is that a curse? No. Nope. And also getting rid of that is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I was worried about that. Yeah. It could happen. Yeah. Um. Well, now I've got a... Do you want me to kill it? Yeah, it's probably time. Yeah. Be because otherwise I can't play any events Indeed. now. So. so I'll engage it first. Sure. And I'll shrivel it. I'm six to two. Mm -hmm. Minus four, we're good. Because I am a real mystic now. Mm -hmm. Sorry, <laughs> that's right. Uh, and I have one more. Do you want me to get this here? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, Do you want to work on these? Yeah, I can now. So I'll go up there. Okay. Well... Oh, sorry, this... I cannot play any events, so I'm or assets, which right. is kind of annoying. However, I can load up on more, <laughs> more liquid courage. All right. So we're gonna go five to four to two. I heal horror first. Yep. That's a minus two. Yay! Pass. We heal additional. Okay, that was action one. I guess I'll just draw a card. You know I'm going to draw the overzealous, though. <laughs> Is there any reason to do this? Keep healing. Is there a reason you can't draw? Uh, get the last clue? Is, yeah, are you like saving up for something? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm not saving up for anything. I have it in my hand already. Right. Uh, I'll draw a card. 
I oh, didn't draw it. That's nice. I will. Are you okay on the horror? Uh, for now. Okay, I'll just draw on the card. Okay. Okay, we're good. Okay, let's go to upkeep. Yep. All enemies off the board. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's that is a real card. Also, this is gone. Nice. Yeah, we should be okay now. Okay. Uh, five out of twelve. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get there. I uh, promise. Dive like voices. Are there any you discard bottle? I don't think so. Let's check. Yeah. To check manually. I know. We can't just search. Correct. We have a card that's the wrong way up. I don't believe so. Yeah, we probably shuffled before you drew anywhere. So, okay. yeah. Zero in the encounter deck. Just five out of three. I would rather not lose all of these cards. <laughs> um, this sounds silly. We're going to commit the hypnotic therapy for okay. plus two. Nice. And that puts me at six. Yep. To three. But, you know, with my luck... Hey, it's, it's, it's minus three. So you're going to draw minus three, and you're going to... How about a plus one? It also works. All right. This can be yours. Yep. I drew a Frozen and Fear. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to stay here, so... All right. Shall I go first? Yeah. Okay. I need to make sure I have enough resources for the things I want to do. Um, We're going to investigate at four to three. That seems... Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Four to three. That is a minus one. Excellent. Very nice. We're going to take this clue, and then we're going to connect the dots. So I also have to lose a resource. Correct. I have oh, four I resources left, and we're going to connect the dots and get all four, or all two clues from a lower shroud location, which is that one. Yep. So spawn the topmost enemy in the encounter discard pile at this location. Fine with me. But these are yours. Thank you. Uh, encounter discard pile. So I believe it's just the witch. Yep. So that one spawns here. We can just ignore it now. And it also spawns there, so we do not resolve revolution. That's correct. Correct. Although okay. The switch will move eventually. <laughs> um, what else do I what would I like to do here? Are you okay there? Probably, right? Yep. Um, I think we. Unless you want to stick together. Um, I mean, know. like I do, but I don't. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. I think we play. I think we take two horror. Wow. Take some resources. Take some horror. And we use, for as our second action, we're going to play... Oh, I also charge up this. Correct. Oh, you weren't here, though. <laughs> uh, I'll play this close the circle somewhere. Wow. So how many is that? I think it's uh, one, two, three, four. Yep. Everything except red. Yeah. Although it wouldn't count itself, right? It does. It it does? Yeah. Oh, it, wow. it says including this one. Oh, very nice. You would still have the forbidden knowledge too. So. Yeah. <laughs> and the down the rabbit hole. Yep. Um, that was action two. Yep. Correct. I'm going to... Actually, I guess if you want to come, I would appreciate some liquid courage if you want. Sure. Next turn. Uh, next turn. Yeah. Unless you want to join this turn. Is no, you... I don't want to lose all of my cards okay, again. Okay. Fair enough. Because that'll actually help you heal. Yeah. I know, it's very right. very, very selfish. No, 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 I, I forgot about the discarding cards thing. Um, I guess I'll just draw another card. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start, I'm going to investigate. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to play Arcane Initiate. Soak. Yeah. Um, I do need a Doom on her. Okay. I feel like she would be a witch, though. Yeah, she does seem like yeah. it. She's a sorcerer. Yeah. Um, I will not search her yet, so I will investigate twice. Though. Okay. Okay, uh, we have six to four. Minus one. We will get a clue. Discard a random card from my hand. Mm -hmm. If I discard deny existence, that would be really annoying. That is a shriveling. Totally okay. Mm -hmm. And I'll do it again. Minus one, all right. Same thing? Same thing. Okay, that's fine. Take the initiative. Uh, okay, now I'm testing Frozen and Fear. Uh, I guess while we'll test this, we're going to use our initiate. Search top three. 
none of those are spells. I would have drawn my Holy Rosary next, but now I don't, so that's sad. Mm. Okay. Frozen in Fear, we are 6 to 3. Minus one, we are good. Excellent. All right. So, nothing happens. We're good to go, good to, go to upkeep. Yep. Okay, that's your flip. All right. Six, Six, total of seven out of 12. <laughs> we might be able to, like, rush the end of this if we can. I think we can. Yeah. All right. What are the locations that are kind of, it's the plus, right? That's the, yep. okay, yeah, okay. Racked. Racked. I haven't had that one yet. I haven't had that one yet. Okay, over here. Demonic piping. Okay. Oh, we know the third one's in there, so the card discard probably mean. Uh, distant voices. Am I okay with that? Yeah. Okay. So I can heal you after you get the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good with that. And then maybe we advance next yep. round. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, I will investigate. I'm currently six to four. I'm surprised that connected dots was honestly not bad. Yeah, I mean, if you leave a location, right. then you're usually pretty good. Zero. I get the last clue there. Oh no, you don't get your thing. It's I don't need the plus one sanity. <laughs> you say that now. Yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah. That's discarding an azure flame. That's well. Maybe we'll go for the clue ending. Yeah. Uh, I'll quickly do that. Uh, this is a spell, so that's good. That is good. Uh, okay. Shall I move somewhere else? You want to come to me? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Can you test this? Yes. Actually, that's a great idea. Six or three. I will trade you with some liquor. Mm -hmm. Unless I fail. <laughs> no. Okay. No liquor anymore. Unless you want to. <laughs> I mean, you're the one who's testing it. Yes. Sure. Okay. So I heal a whore immediately? Yep. Take a resource. Oops. Okay, I'm testing six to two. Also, this is gone. Minus one. Heal another one. Is that your card this round? Yes, that was. Okay. Goes the end of the round, right? It goes in my turn, right? Oh, no. You're right. That right. doesn't matter. Whatever. Okay, um, that was my first action. Correct. My second action will be to, uh, how are you dealing on the damage side? I have five out of seven. All right. What do you want to heal? Or damage? I don't care. Two damage, I guess. Sure. Thank you. I will draw a card. There's the overzealous All we've right. been looking for. Here we go. I don't have anything to help you with this. <sighs> so it's fine. fine. That's not the worst. Yeah. Yeah. Gain surge. Ancient, Ancient evils. evils. Okay. At least it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Okay, okay, I have one more action, you say. Evade it? <laughs> it's possible. Oh, no, your racked would get you minus one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's funny, because I could have played something else before, and I, you know. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can give you one to an evade. Sure. I mean, go three to three. All right, here's the Mr. Rullier. Next round, if we have to, I'll, I'll use the, yeah. use this. Actually, no. Better, better yet. Hold on to that. Okay. We'll use close the circle, and we will evade. Ooh, with your willpower. With willpower. All right. So that's an extra action. Um, so now I have four to two. Correct. That's a little better. And I will commit this Hawkeye folding camera to go five. Five. Yep, that's good. Well, <laughs> it might be. <laughs> it might be. That's a minus two. Excellent. Pass. Okay, it's evaded. evaded. I do have another action. Yep. That was free. So that was uh, an extra one. And I think the way things are going, I will play this occult lexicon. Okay. And that, that will get me, me a blood right and then shuffle two more in. Um, do you want that to engage you? Probably, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Totally. All right. Got to use all the stuff in my deck. That's, yeah. that's how it works. <laughs> your, uh, your player is pretty getting pretty massive. Yeah. That's what I was asking you about, like, camera space and all. Yeah. Whatever works. Okay. Upkeep? Upkeep. This guy will go into me. 
Try current gain resource. Drew a hypochondria. Okay, that's actually fine. <gasps> Is that a good card? <laughs> it's a card I, with a different color. Indeed, I didn't know what it was. Um, we are a total of 9 out of 12. Oh my god. We better finish this. Uh, it's just one here, right? Yeah, so total of 8s, and then I have my finish. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, we're going to just rush it at the end yeah. here if we can. Oh, oh it's, Jesus. Uh, it's a friend. Okay. With me. Yep, my card. Bedeviled. That's a problem. <laughs> I can't stop that. Hmm. What does that one do? I can't trigger action abilities on cards of control, aka my entire deck. Okay. So we need an exhausted witch. Where is that power word? Hmm. Okay. Is, there is a witch in the discard pile, right? Uh, yeah. So this guy is three of eight. Yep. That would be an exhausted witch if we evaded her. Yep. Okay, let me think about this. Yeah. Um, do you want to just advance and then... It's, or does that not really matter? Um, are you able to go there? Not engaged with one enemy. I'd have to evade anyway. Yeah. Because the only problem is that she'll cause more witches to appear, right? That's true. <laughs> we might actually doom out. <laughs> it's, it's possible. Um. Okay, so I can kill... Well, I can't. She's got three health. That's kind of a problem. I have, I have two charges on Shriveling right now, as always. Okay. Okay. Um, where's the goat spawn? You got it. With me. Okay. So, in fact, I could just kill a goat spawn. But then we both take a horror. Yeah. That would help try to get rid of this. Yep. In fact, let me just use it right now. Yeah. None of those are spells. Oh, no, but I can't attack them right now because I have Bedeviled. Ugh. Okay, so if I evade the Priestess of the Coven... Yes. ...and then get rid of the Bedeviled for you... Yeah. You do currently have Racked on you as well. True. I can commit a lot of willpower to you, actually. Okay. Two willpower. Okay. I think we start with that? Okay. That makes sense? Yep. So we, we use this. Yep. And you're going to evade? I can also... I, I want to save Ace of Rods for the last round, right? Yeah, I possibly. think that makes sense. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so we evade. I've got four, so this but is three. Plus two okay. for Steadfast, because I have nine so, health So range. five to two? Five to three? Five to three? Five to three. All right, and I'm going to commit a stand together. Okay. Six to three, then? Six to three. That's good. Uh, might be. Yeah. I believe. That is a minus four. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, now we're kind of fucked. Yeah. Okay. I do have three more actions. Yeah, and now your rack isn't on you anymore. That's true. I need another power word. Hmm. Well, I have two to three. That ain't going to work. I can just try to... <sighs> okay. I can give you one foot. Um, at even, that's not great. Yeah. I really shouldn't have uh, gotten rid of those arcane studies either, either <laughs> earlier. That would have been helpful at the yeah. moment to hang on to. I mean, the problem with the blood right is it doesn't do the third damage. Correct. So theoretically, oh no, you can't. <laughs> you yeah, have, I can't you have do the it. bedeviled. Yeah. Okay. We can go somewhere to. Uh, do we have any clues left? Yeah, we do. We can go somewhere to uh, dump all of our clues. It's right. not a victory point location. Yeah. Man. That's tough. All right. We could go with the Ace of Rods now, which yeah. I should have done before. <laughs> you can get up one? We can get up On one. an evade? Or... I mean, I guess we do it. All right. right. I'll commit this as well. Okay. So Two, three, I'm four. at four. Four to three. Plus one? Yep. This is five. Oh, wait. You... We get plus two. D's you get plus two. 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 Okay, yeah. Five to three then. That's better. Five to three. <laughs> I believe... Gotta to toss these tokens around a little bit more. That is a tablet, which is a minus one. I don't think I've drawn one the entire time. No, you have not. All what right. does the tablet even do again? Uh, you draw the. If you fail, you draw the bottommost treachery. Right. Okay. Um. So I have three, three more actions. Correct. How do I help? Please I'm... get rid of the devil for one. Okay. Thank you. Because now we can kill the guy. 
You could also get rid of your rack now if you wanted to as well. I could. Are we going to be able to get rid of the Priests of the Coven? Like, how are we doing with the... I mean, it would be next turn. Okay. Because I have another damage card in my hand. Okay. Um, how, how confident are we about killing Annette? It's eight damage, right? Yeah, I don't... Do you have damage on you? I got two. Well, that's technically eight damage. I could tend to... No, unless I... Because I, I have to move in for an action, so... Mm -hmm. It would take two turns. But then we would do that by the time that happened, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Right? Yeah. Actually, no. no. What are we at right now? We're at eight, nine. She'll come in, put two doom because of herself, because she's a witch, right? Right, but then she also brings... Correct. Whoever's left. Yeah, yeah. Whoever's... Uh, so we'll exhausted. definitely doom out then. <laughs> unless we do it right now, because she's exhausted, right? Correct. Yeah, because then we'll be at 11. Unless she discards a witch. Which there's, is one, there's one more left. Correct. And you can kill this one, right? Th this turn, technically, yes. Okay. Hmm. I would just have to take a tap from that guy, but that's fine. It's either that or I go in and, and I attempt to get a couple clues, because I have two actions left, Well, I only get, get one clue. Yeah. But I'm just going to be hit you, hitting you the whole time, right? Mm, mm, sort of. <laughs> Yeah. Yikes. Um, it's like either that or I play Peter, but I think that's not really a good idea right mm. now. Um, okay, I guess we have to decide clues or. It's or three damage. per clues there, right? It was six, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I have six cents obviously, so I would be able to help. Mm -hmm. Um, Annette would be hitting me the whole time though. I'd be actually okay if she hit me. I'd be fine. I can hit, get hit a, a couple times. Okay. I say maybe we do it now. Sure, let's do it. So we need to spend a total of six. Yeah. Uh, who do you want to spend? Are you more likely to die? I actually probably not actually. Okay, then I'll spend my five. Okay, I'll spend one. And we will advance. Hey, it's the witch's circle. Three shroud, three per clues. Revelation, put it into play in the center of the play area in front of none of the investigators. The lead investigator spawns to set aside Annette Mason at the Witch's Circle. Forced, after the enemy phase begins, move each ready, unengaged witch enemy once, excuse me, towards the Witch's Circle, victory one. So, can you get Annette Mason? She's in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. So, she has four fight, four per investigator health, four evade, humanoid witch elite. Retaliates, forced, after the enemy phase begins, discard the top three cards of the encounter deck. Spawn each witch enemy discarded by this effect at Annette Mason's location. If no witch enemies are discarded by this effect, ready her. Okay, so I have two actions left, right? Correct. Or do I have three? Oh, no, sorry. You, um... I have two. Because I got rid of your... Correct. Okay. So I'm going to take basically two damage and two horror if I go in there now, yes. which puts me at five. But there's no other way to take damage, right? Nope. Uh, curse the... Oh, Centuries of Secrets. Ugh. That's okay. I mean, we'll just take the chance yeah, on that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so oh, I... Oh, we have three preclusions on it yep. as well. So... I'll put three and It's okay here. if we die there, because we're not going to get... Well, actually, I guess if we're trying to get clues then, but... Well, we'll try. Yeah, we're trying. So I'm going to move there. There's one more clue, but hopefully I'll pick it up. Yep. I'll move there. She engages me. And now I have six to three. Right. Okay. She hits you. Yep. She will. So I'll take this. Four out of six. Five out of nine. Okay. That is a skull with a minus one. So you pass. All right. I get the clue. And that's my turn. Okay. <laughs> I, I realize it's kind of crazy, but... Yeah. Okay, so for each, just each witch, right? Mm -hmm. So as long as this witch is not in play, we are guaranteed to not doom out. Yeah. Okay. If there's a way you can... I, I can for sure do that. Okay. Because yes. if you could help get a clue now also yep. this round, that would be cool. But I don't know if you can pull that off. Move, fight. Unfortunately, no, because that witch is here. If I need to kill her, then... Oh, it's over here. Yeah. That's right. Well, I need to go kill it, right? Yeah. 
I mean, I can get there this turn. Yeah, that, let's do that. It would require bringing the goat spawn with me. <laughs> but you're going to try to kill off the yeah, 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 shit, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay, we'll do it. So, I've already used her. So, we'll move here. That takes attack opportunity from the goat spawn. That'll kill the arcane shit. Mm -hmm. So, that doom is gone. Um, that also gives me a horror because I took it because I took a damage. I think I'm okay. Um, so now I'm gonna shrivel. Mm -hmm. The coming in a shit. I'm six to two. Minus two. I've not drawn a symbol on that. That's actually awesome. Okay, that which is huge now. <laughs> um, and then I move up here, taking a damage and a horror. Okay. And that's me. Okay, so I take another damage and a horror during the enemy phase. Correct. Actually, well, first let's do these things, right? Oh, great. So this yep. one technically would trigger, but that doesn't do anything. Right. This one now triggers. We discard the top three cards. Not yeah. a witch. Thank not a witch. Not a witch. Okay. So we actually might have two rounds now, then. Unless I die. <laughs> it's very yeah. possible that I die. Same here. This guy attacks me for damage and then another horror because of my hypochondria. And I take my damage and horror. So I've got five of nine and... Uh, six of five of five of six and six of nine. I have five of seven and six of seven. Okay. Upkeep. <gasps> Is that amazing? Eh, I mean, would it kill me? <laughs> okay, we have nine out of twelve now. Sorry, uh, ten out of twelve because she will add one more doom. Yep. At the end of the round. Okay. Our remains. You can technically dial this. Because I have two, I have a minus one because this is a rack. There's a guts. Okay. Um, let me commit this as well. Okay. Peter? Yep. So there's oh. plus three. Okay. So you're seven to three? Yep. Okay. That's a minus two. You are good. Mm -hmm. I draw a card. It is a holy rosary. That's good. Horror soap. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll just lose. Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, how how many are there? Are there two in there? Probably. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm. I, I'm at six. We'll see what happens. All right. One. Only one. Okay. I see only one. Tablet. We're good. Okay. I had six. I also die to senses, <laughs> and it does yeah. not deny the card draw. Okay. Okay. Um. How many clues can we get? Can you get a couple clues and then gauge her off of me? One, two... And then I can get the rest. I might die, though. It might kill me. If you engage her off of me? Yeah. Oh, because of the, the goat spawn. spawn. Uh, can you get one and engage off of me? Yes. Is that enough? Yeah. Okay. I should be able to get four clues. This hypochondria is actually killing me. <laughs> Remember we said <laughs> yeah. that's a bet? Yeah. I can't help you with an evade, mm. but... You can? No, I can't. Oh, okay. Um, I have another thing I could do, but I'm not sure it's a... I don't want to... Okay, wait. you got six cents, so you're at six... Uh... Yeah, I'm six to three. Both times. I think there's, there's no worries about me failing that. Except for auto-fail, of course. Um, I, can, I can do something here. It's a little chancy, but... Okay, I've got six horror on me. Yes. So, how about I power word that enemy and tell him to go away? On your turn? Yeah. Okay. How's that sound? I mean, yeah, sure. All right. So, I mean, well, okay, so are we planning on winning know, winning this? Yeah. Okay. I think we can do it. Okay. Um, so, first thing, I'm going to play my uh, scene of the crime, because that has to be my there first action. Yep, that's, that's huge. That's huge. Right, and if I just succeed three times, we're good. Okay. And then I take two horror. Yep. Wait. Oh, to get money. <laughs> yep. Nice. I have to for the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. power word. For sure. And you're gonna say, you can actually just say cower, and it's fine. Sure. It doesn't really matter. Actually, it would, it would it would prevent an attack in the enemy phase. So. Right. And then I have one more. Uh. Right, and I can't get hit. I could try to evade. 
Yeah, close the circle. Yeah. You're what, four all? Yeah. Oh, you have rack, though. No, I already did that from the uh, test on sentries or Got whatever it. it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Four. Okay. Um, you got anything? I have one. I have holy, one. Holy, okay. Holy Rosary. Okay, up two. That is a minus one. You're good. She is evaded. All right. All right. We're going to get home. You don't, do you have any willpower? You have no cards. <laughs> Perfect. And you have no cards. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Six cents. We are six to three. Here's a deny existence. <laughs> Make sure I get up four. I only have two commits for this, so the third one will be blind. And I believe if we don't get this, we will doom out immediately, right? Because that Princess of the Coven is going to come in. Yep. So we'll fail. But, you know, if we fail this, it's fine. Minus two. Okay. I have another deny existence in my hand for this second one. Up four again. I guess I have another action, but... Wait, wait. Oh, I you do have, have, another, have another action. action. Yeah, yeah, okay. So why don't you finish that then? Yeah. Try and get a clue, I guess. Yeah, no, that's what I yeah. really need to do. So yeah, I, yeah. I have five. 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 That is a skull. Good. Minus one. You are good. All right. And we are safe now. Because I just got, I got that clue. Okay, so... <clears throat> so I have one. You have one. And then there's one left. Yes. And you have two actions. Correct. All right. I do have two actions to get this. So that last deny, the second investigate with the deny existence, I'm seven to three again. Minus two. Good job. Nice. Solid. Oof. All right. We didn't even draw the piper. So that's I know. good. All right. No clues. We, I actually didn't even read this. <laughs> Lamau. A circle unbroken. You come across a clearing where a ritual circle has been constructed. Several hooded figures stand around in a trance, unaware of your presence. Overlooking the ritual is a powerfully built woman who brandishes a long, wa wavy dagger as she sees you approach. Leave this place at once, she commands. Blah, blah, blah. Objective, if there are no clues on the witch's circle, this is why we did this whole thing. To begin with, we advance a circle undone. Hey, that's the name of the campaign. Mm -hmm. If you advance by, no, if you advance by discovering all the clues on the witch's circle. A loud crack echoes throughout the woods as you break the circle and reverse the witch's spell. No, they have broken the ritual, one of the witches screams as the spell's energy backfires. White hat lightning strikes the center of the field, sending dirt and debris flying in every direction. You duck for cover. R2. Sweet. Good job. My goodness. Um, all right, here we go. With the spell broken, the hooded figures turn their attention to you. More of them, more of them emerge from the tree line, eager to take vengeance upon you for destroying their plans. Interloper, one of them calls you, pulling off her hood and pointing a gnarled wooden rod in your direction. Her, her bright red hair glows in the firelight, embers dancing around her extended hand. You will not escape this time, she cries, prepared to strike you down. Stop, says the... The leader of the coven yells in a commanding voice, holding up her hand. The red-haired accuser stops in her tracks, and there is a sudden stillness in the clearing around the circle. But high priestess, the witch persists, they are the ones before, from before, the ones who interfered with our great work. The high priestess places a hand on the red-haired witch's shoulder. As always, I admire your perseverance, sister, but I do not believe these are the ones you speak of, she replies. The red-haired witch lowers her rod as the high priestess approaches you. Her arms crossed. She watches you with a hard glare, her gaze never straying far from you. I am Annette, and these are my sisters, she says. Tell me, who are you, and why are you here? You explain how you awoke in the woods, how you were attacked by terrible creatures, and how you came to the center of this circle in order to break the spells surrounding the woods. Annette's eyes narrow as she hears your story. That is impossible. The circle was closed. None could enter the woods while we were completing our spell. She grits her teeth. You must go at once. This is not your place. But, High Priestess, the red-haired witch exclaims, only to be interrupted by Annette's gaze. The two lock eyes, a battle of wills that quickly proves Annette victorious. Stand down, Aaron, Annette says with a firm motherly tone, as though admonishing a child. She turns her attention back to you, as the witch named Aaron lowers her head in defeat. Go. You have broken the spell, just as you desired. You can leave the woods now. But I give you one final warning. Cross us again, and we will not be so merciful. 
You begin to protest, but before you are able to utter a single word, a dark gale snuffs out the fire at the center of the clearing. Shadows from beyond the tree line suddenly twist and coil into the clearing, tugging at the edges of the witch's cloaks. One by one, the shadows twist and pull each of the witches into the darkness beyond. In moments, they are gone. You are left with only the soft glow of moonlight to guide you home. In your campaign log, record the witch's spell was broken. In your campaign log, under mementos discovered, record mesmerizing flute and scrap of torn shadow. Each investigator earns one bonus experience as they gain insight into Arkham's mysterious past. And each investigator earns victory X equal to victory value of each card of the victory display. So how much is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. So then plus one is a total of eight for both of us. Is it kind of weird that I use this card close the circle when we were trying to break the circle? Or? So thematic. <laughs> yeah. Um, I believe... Is that everything? I think that's everything. Yep. Next scenario is that death doorstep. So we're going to clean this up and we're going to talk about our upgrades. So please do not go anywhere. And we're back to talk about upgrades. So we had eight experience to spend. Carolyn, what did you get with your eight experience? All right. I had to spend seven since I have down the route hole on a stick to the plan. Indeed. And then I spent no experience, but checked a box on uh, the empirical hypothesis, trial Very and error. Nice. Trial and error, that's right. And then I spent zero experience, checking one more box on confess, All on right. power word. And then I banked the last XP. All right. I did a bunch of upgrading and purchasing. So first off, I'm using the um, Arcane Research Experience to upgrade one copy of Ward of Protection. And then with the additional 8 XP, I'm going to purchase two copies of Brand of Cthulhu. Two, uh, I'm going to, and then, hold on, wait. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, so that's a total of two. And then I'm also going to purchase another copy of Order Protection. Just to upgrade it for now, I want to get that out of the way as I can. Um, I have four left, so I'm going to immediately upgrade a copy of Azure Flame because I think I'm worried about... Some early game damage, and I need to make sure I get that willpower boost. And lastly, with my last one, I'm going to uh, choose Subtle Depiction on Living Ink so that I don't have to spend the charge if I do not want it that turn. All right. Well, that was awesome. We did very, very well in that scenario. Pretty much the best we could have, um, and it was very close. That's the best kind of Arkham, right? Absolutely. All right, well, next time it's going to be at Death's Doorstep. If you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and please also check out Quick Learner's channel in the bottom description. It's going to be linked there the whole time. Thank you again, Daniel, for joining me. Yeah. And uh, I hope to see you next time. This has been Superfang99, signing off.